you have fully been keeping active and even yesterday I was looking online and I see now this is one of them weird ones because I was just looking on sometimes I just look on his page anyway for no reason mm. I was looking on Retri 2's page and all I see is him post up your video yeah now for me to see that now I'm like oh damn for you to see it how was it boy it was it was a shock still mm. like it's just it's mad because the support everyone's just showing support like everyone yeah. so it's kind of it's like it hasn't hit home yet mm. a lot of this stuff is just surreal to me because obviously I've been doing it for so long mm. without getting any attention or anything so now everyone's showing me attention mm-hmm. it just doesn't feel real so you say that you've been doing it for so long without getting any attention yeah. what's what stopped you what kept you carrying on and pushing without the uh, without the without the attention recognition yeah the love for it like I'm not doing it for the attention I'm not doing it um to get a pat on the back like I'm doing it because this is what I love to do mm. so that's what kept me going I could imagine even so with I even seeing you up the other day with Blade Brown yeah. how did that come about um many people don't know but I made a tune I made a beat for Blade Brown in like 2012 well damn what tune was that um Mr Brown Okay. It was, on, yeah. it was on Bags and Boxes too. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in the room was like, "Yeah, I, mean, yeah, no, I was I bumping that, that yeah, in my yeah. car." Like, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen him smile so much. You in know the ones there? He's like, "Yeah, yeah I know that one yeah. still." Yeah, man. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. from off the back of that, like he's been following me since then, since mm-hmm. 2012, and then just randomly, like he just he shot, he DM'd me and said that he wanted me to come to his studio to do some more stuff because there was a lot of good feedback from the other thing I'd done for him. So okay, yeah, just got together. I would even say for you as a whole in terms of your music I know there's a lot of people right now that are like new Nux fans like just just coming on and seeing what you're doing and I know you said you've been doing this for a while how long have you really been doing this because they'll be looking at it thinking I know Nux is new yeah, I've been making music since I was like 12 well damn but um, officially like putting music out I think I started when I was like 14 15 uh huh yeah I do see the tweets from your from your sister saying about your neighbours <laughs> and you play in tunes all the time yeah is that a consistent vibe in your house you're just always making tunes constantly yeah, I, I can't stop where i think my neighbors they must hate me by now where so i could definitely imagine in terms of your music and where it's heading i've always i've kind of felt a vibe of old school hip-hop with you and you're it's all production from you isn't it yeah where is it heading as a whole is it staying with the old school hip-hop or are we looking to see something different from you in the future um i'm always messing about with stuff so like um i do want to keep my sound mm. but then at the same time i will experiment and do other things mm. for example recently I, I played with like um kind of dance holy drum patterns hey. with a sample like with an old school sample just to see how it sounds uh-huh. so in itself like you can't even call it dance hall because i've mm-hmm. got the old school sample so i'm making something new mm-hmm. in its in its own right how long have you been making beats um since I was 12 as well yeah 12 yeah Where so did how did that come about how did you actually say to yourself you know what I'm gonna start making beats like that at 12 I just while I'm sitting there what playing um <laughs> playing whatever and looking at <laughs> WWE waiting for Friday to come while you're making beats <laughs> Look, how did that come watching about WWE make up yourself I know you are <laughs> yeah um what it was was I I back in the day I did grime in it and like with Graham I always loved the sampled kind of beats yeah. but there weren't many of them about so um, I started playing around with um, FL Studio which is the of course the production software and then from there I just kept doing it because I was just intrigued to know more and mm. then sometimes I watched tutorials on how to do things I don't know how to do mm. and I just kept doing it and just got better got to a stage where I said right I can actually rap on this beat now for sure so then that's what I did I got a new tune called Used To that is dropping a new single Aye. that's going to drop on my SoundCloud. So um, right now it's in the mixing process. So as soon as that's done, I'll release it. Then um, I've got the video for Big Kahuna, the full video mm. coming out. And then um, I've got another freestyle coming out after Used To. So Okay. So what, are we building up to a project? Are we expecting a project soon? Yeah, soon. I think, um, I think it's going to be sometime next year. 
the London, uh, London Rebels get any exclusives on the name? Or yeah, don't watch that. Man. Listen, we ain't asking. We're, we're, we're going to be. <laughs> I've, I've got Lux's WhatsApp out here. I'll start messaging randomly, like, can you. Um, he even knows it. He drops stuff on Snapchat, and I'll be messaging him, like, is this new? <laughs> yeah, he does, though. Exactly. Yeah, he does. He does. For sure. <laughs> he does. I also see all the time you post things up to do with Sade. Yeah. What is this thing with Nux and Sade? Is there history? Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, um, careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah. careful. I've always had a love for Sade's music. Man. Of course, her voice is one that can't like. You know how you can get singers whose whose voices you can get mixed up with other singers' mm-hmm. voices. Mm-hmm. You can't mix up Sade's voice with no one's voice. Boy. Like, for sure. And I've always just loved the vibe of her music, and her her music inspired the type of sound that I have today. So, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Nah, for sure, man. Even so, with this um, mixtape coming out next, I even want to ask what it's called. I want to ask. I, I feel like I'm going to try my best to see if I can get some more stuff out of you in terms of what's coming next, in terms of the mixtape and the direction you're going in. Do you feel like you know already? Or do you feel like you're now just playing with music right now? Uh, kind of both. Like, I'm playing with music, but at the same time, I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So I don't want to just drop a tape just for the sake of it mm. like I want it to be like a concept tape so something that is kind of deep and it will last I mm. don't want something that's just going to be diarrhea music that's mm-hmm. going to be here today and gone tomorrow so. 100 even so it's funny because I feel like where you drop music I've noticed you, you strategically do it I've noticed you released the big kahuna on was it the burger day or something like that I was like this guy is really waiting <laughs> for this burger day and I Wait, keep on you know what? I saw Wait. tweets too I even saw tweets of burgers and I'm like There's he a really day. is doing it yeah. Yo, I wanted to ask you a question man because I'm an artist myself and every time I listen to you yeah. like even when I heard you live it kind of inspired me to go home and then just write okay. so Mad who too. inspires you? Um, like who do I listen to? Kind yeah of thing? or what inspires you? anything? um well, old school, a lot of old school music it's like inspires my sound, obviously, because that's what I sample. But I like to listen to old school rappers. Like, um, I listen to a lot of MF Doom. I'm not sure if you know that's about my uncle. Hey. Yeah, I like that guy. <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah, I understand. I MF Doom. Um, I used to listen to a lot of Dot Rotten and Ice Kid. Big up. Um, and Currency. Just currency that guy's sure. got amazing beats all the time man all the time just yeah. amazing beats that's what I do even so I was saying that you put out stuff strategically mm-hmm. I even see um, this could be one of your favourite things I guess but I'm sure a lot of people are thinking I think a lot of people that actually have heard your music and like it in this time where everyone's putting out music every single two seconds yeah the one day someone's hot the next day someone else is hot but I think there's something quite elusive about what you're doing Breakfast with Tiffany Breakfast at Tiffany's mm. It came from the movie I even see that the The way that you designed the set Was exactly how They done it in the movie In 1960 Yeah What's your vibe towards that? Um, with that It was a thing where It was the production That made me think of the movie So okay. I must have been Making the beat now And then just the vibe And the Piano heavy Yeah mm. And the aesthetic of it Gave Like it It just felt like it linked To that film mm-hmm. And because um, I did English Lit in A levels, yeah. and I had to read up on that film and other some other films as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it just inspired me to to make the tune. Like I just like the the glamorous kind of feel that it brings, mm. and I like the juxtaposition, like comparing the glamorous lifestyle to the grittiness of what I talk about sometimes, mm. and the grittiness of like the trap drums and whatnot. yes, so, trap drums for sure. What's your writing process? How do you what, how do you sit down and write or and can I just say too it's, it's such a coincidence that a lot of people that we admire for bars for some reason are always talking about in- English lit like that's something that they started who else, who else is- from there's a lot of people out here who say Eminem they talk about Eminem always being great at um, English lit Nas was like the head of the class but yet everything else he didn't yeah mm-hmm. so yeah yeah, what in? I what, cut off I, his questions what's your, what's your um, process of writing what do you do how do you get, um, gather um, well for me it's different because obviously I produce in it so like what I do is I go through samples find a sample I like sample it and make a beat around it and then as I've made the beat I just vibe to it and then flow start to come first innit? then once I find a flow I just find words to fill in the gaps and then I make a tune I got this thing every week yeah. 
Anyone that's listening to this would know what this is. Uh-huh. Where I go and do my own little geek ish and I look through people's tweets all the time. Oh. Now, looking through Nux tweets, though, <laughs> is a bit long because it's like he doesn't emotionally tweet. Yeah. You retweet a lot, though. You retweet a lot, yeah, but you yeah. don't emotionally tweet. But I did find something. Oh, shit. There we go. I don't know if you're reminiscing at this time and you just thought, I'm just going to start tweeting. Oh, but you go, I'll never forget the time my dad came in my room and with two bottles of Guinness, <laughs> looked in my face and said, haters are going to hate <laughs> till they turn grey, which you actually put in one of your tunes. I was like, damn, I remember that. And then you said, and then you said, I was like, ish then, and then took the second bottle. Mad thing. That sounds like an experience. Yeah, that, that actually happened. It wasn't just a tweet. Um, yeah. It, no, that happened after the song, though. So, obviously, uh-huh. he, he listens to my tunes in it, which I, I find kind of weird, but he likes <laughs> I hear that. And um, one day, he must have just been guest of the tune and then right. came into my room with Guinness. Oh, this is after the tune? Yeah, okay. after the tune in it. So, it was quoting my lyrics. So, right. I was like... Right, okay then. I just took mm-hmm. the bottle and we just started drinking and talking. That I hear That's that. Something. That is live. I'm telling you. So, we're going to be back in two seconds, but that was Nux, LD and RBS, and you need to come back. Keep on coming back. We'll always invite you around here. Definitely. LD and RBS for sure. Love.